Today's challenge, a tale of two supersized pooches. They go mad. It can be a bit stressful, a bit scary sometimes. <laughs> they bark, they pounce, and they terrorise anyone who gets in the way. Safi! If Victoria cannot help us, this is the last chance saloon. This is it. In Hampshire, Carol and daughter Mia are absolutely besotted. Good boy. With their two Bernese mountain dogs, Safi and Yogi. That's better, shh. Tricky to tell apart, Safi has a white tip on her tail. And Yogi, well, he doesn't. We like big dogs. They're the feel-good factor. Good boy. And fluffy dogs. We like, you know, getting a good fluffy hug. <laughs> but despite the love and each attending puppy school when young, these two are a world of chaos. Especially when the doorbell rings. All hell breaks loose in the house. It's barking, barking, barking. If I open the door, they will run out at the person. So it's not a safe situation. Nervous around strangers, five-year-old Safi is territorial, to say the least. Safi has chased the postman down the road. And new people coming into the house, Safi can be very loud, very protective. We have friends around. She will bark for maybe up to 40 minutes at them. Meanwhile, two-year-old Yogi is a very different beast. Yogi is very friendly, a bit too friendly. It's like, ooh, who, who's at the door? I'll go and greet them and lick them to death. If it was somebody old or frail, that could be life-changing. This way. Outside this way. the house, the problems only get worse, both on ooh. and off the lead. Yogi! Yogi! Come here! With Yogi determined to befriend every human and every dog he sees. Yogi! His recall is not good. If he sees another dog, he'll be gone. Yogi, come here! We'll call his name, we'll say come here, and he'll just ignore us. Yogi's baby, come on! My biggest fear is that if that dog is on the other side of the road, he will get knocked down. Struggling to even leave the house, entertain friends, or find a dog sitter up to the task, Carol and Mia feel stuck. We do love our dogs, there is no question about that, but we would love Victoria's help so that people can feel welcome and not threatened. I've had Carol put Safi in the back garden to relieve any kind of stress she might feel when I arrive. On the other hand, I hear that Yogi greets quite enthusiastically, so this is going to be very interesting. Sure enough, Yogi's not about to disappoint. Hello. Hi, Victoria. Oh, goodness. Hello. This is Yogi. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Come on <laughs> Thank in. Thank you. Hello. Oh, ow. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're a very big dog, and I think you Yogi. just broke my knee. <laughs> As for Safi... Come on inside, Safi. Being in the garden has for once made it possible for Carol and Mia to hear their visitor. Safi will keep barking at people. Mm. It's this constant nervousness about her. She was always a bit shy around new people, but mm. she didn't used to be as territorial, not as barky, until I think when we got Yogi. Mm. They're great friends now, but I think she sets him off and then it goes a bit mad. So, Safi's issues, I can see. OK, what else? The other bigger issue that we have with Yogi is his recall. If he hears or sees another dog, he's gone. Really? No. Yeah, no. Yogi has to say hello to everybody. OK. Everybody. Maybe not so fun for the person and the little dog that's walking in the distance and sees this well, massive, huge, great dog bounding towards them. Absolutely. They don't know he's a friendly lump of mush, you know? They're right. petrified. <laughs> yes, OK. And believe you me, he's heavy. Traditionally used by farmers to herd cattle and pull carts loaded with produce, Bernese mountain dogs are renowned for their strength and intelligence. 
They're also loyal, extremely playful, and make great guard dogs. Though weighing in around 100 pounds, and with energy to burn, they can be an absolute handful. Which in Safi and Yogi's case, has to be seen to be believed. Whoa, as soon as that doorbell goes, it's a trigger for barking. Massive shot of adrenaline, excitement, arousal. Hi, Kelly! Come on in! Yogi, because he's excited. Safi, because she's a little nervous. Even though this is somebody they know, Safi continues to bark. That door becomes a flashpoint, and that's what I need to address. Then there's the traumatic daily walk, which often comes to an abrupt halt at the local cafe. We're here for sausages. <laughs> <laughs> You're naughty, gently. Yes. Is this what they always do when they walk past here? Yes. They come Even past. if it's closed. <laughs> Even if it's closed, they will come up to the table. 10 o'clock at night, we could be outside sitting here, waiting for sausages. Safi actually nearly pulled you over. Yes. Because she, she was getting to this takeaway window. Absolutely. And Yogi has jumped on the table. Right. And put his head straight in the window. Right. Saying no to a Bernese mountain dog demanding a takeaway. Okay. Come on, let's go. Oh, Safi. Yeah. It's pretty much impossible. Oh boy. She Good doesn't girl. want to go. Stay. Come on, let's go. And post sausage, things don't get any easier. The worst culprit. Yogi! Yogi! Especially when he sees another dog. Yogi! Come here! And when you call him to come back, he doesn't. No, he does not come back. No. <laughs> that old chestnut. I see your issues. It's not the most relaxing. <laughs> no. yeah, not everybody wants to say hello to you. <laughs> no. While Yogi and Safi are both intuitive, good-natured dogs, there's really no denying Victoria has her hands full. Wow, you have double the trouble here. <laughs> when they hear somebody knock on the door, they have very different experiences. Yogi's very excited. Oh, somebody's going to come in at the door. Yes. Woo. And Safi's like, <clears throat> warning, warning, warning. She does not feel safe when people come in. I've never actually thought about it from her perspective. I've never thought that she actually feels unsafe, which makes me a bit sad. She's always on alert. Mm. Yeah. It's exhausting for her. It definitely makes an awful lot of sense. I'm going to do my best with two dogs that are very different, but I'm going to address the walking, their behaviour at the door, and Safi's nervousness around people. OK. OK? So it's a lot of dog and it's a lot of work. Yeah. Are you ready? Absolutely. OK, mm, definitely. The first challenge facing Victoria... <laughs> Yogi and Safi's door dashing. When somebody knocks on the door, that's their trigger. Yeah. All of a sudden, they get a surge of adrenaline going through their bodies. So the first step, teach the dogs to stay in one place with the door completely open. OK. With nobody out there. Of course, I'm going to use some lovely food. Nice. Along with one simple cue. Stay. Put my hand on the doorknob. Yes. Very good. Very good. Stay. Very good. Very good. All right, first stage done. Definitely a great start, but is it a sleight of hand Carol can pull off? Stay. Very nice. Go to the door, open it. Up, oh, nope, shut the door. Do it one more time. Stay. Good girl, good boy. Very nice, good girl, very good boy. nice. That was amazing. Can you give me a high five? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, uh, with the door open, they, 
Yogi would be gone down the footpath, you know, around the corner. He was just sitting there like, you know, a perfect dog. The next hurdle, getting friends across the threshold without incident. You're going to do what you did when I came in. Put Safi in the garden. Yeah. So that she's not in this flashpoint here, mm -hmm. because that trigger with the door knocking, well, that's just too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Though for Yogi, who loves to pounce on visitors, it's all about teaching him some impulse control. Good boy. Stay. Stay. <gasps> Very good, yes, I'm so proud of you. Sit. Stay. Okay, Leah, come in. If he comes to you, just like take a step out. Stay. <gasps> Go. I'm so proud of you. Good boy. Rewarding Yogi's restraint, it's now the guest's turn to dish out a few treats. So you take away that kind of angst of yeah. somebody being there, right? Yeah. Good boy, he's so good. He's so good. While teaching Yogi not to pounce and putting Safi in the garden works for friends, the bigger challenge <coughs> is an unexpected knock at the door, a trigger these two find impossible to resist. What normally happens is mayhem. Now we're changing the picture. Now you're no longer going to get up. Yeah. You're going to keep reading. Wait till they're settled. And then you calmly get up, close the kitchen door so they don't follow you. Mm -hmm. So you can talk to your delivery person in peace. So while excitable yogi and nervous Safi react as expected, the humans carry on as if nothing has happened. Eventually, they get the memo and settle down. Good boy, Yogi. Very nice. Good boy. Well done. Then, after closing the kitchen door behind her, Carol can quietly see who's knocking. It was horrible having to just sit still and pretend that nothing's happening. <laughs> it's difficult for me because I know Safi gets a little bit stressed. Hi, Safs. Good girl. But I know it will definitely calm her down. As odd as all of this seems, we're really breaking their habit. Yeah. Though in Safi's case, getting her to relax around visitors is more complicated. Have your guests come in, let them settle, and then introduce her. Also, be that kind of emotional anchor for her. Yeah. Give her those treats as you're coming in. Tell her, good girl. And that means she's going to be focusing more on you rather than on all of these scary people around. Yeah, OK. She'll also be focused on Victoria's next piece of advice. Engage the brain. I love this. It's an interactive toy that I put some food in. OK. She's got to work out how to get it out. OK. There you go. Now let's see what she does. The more sort of problem-solving activities you give, the better. Because when a dog is seeking and sniffing, it actually lowers their stress levels. I'm going to show her how to do it. There you go. What we just did then was a bit of social learning, mm. where I showed her how to do it, and then she did it herself. Soon she'll be like, oh, that's easy. Oh, Boom. There's a piece. Well done. Good girl. Finally, never underestimate the power of exercise. Either before your guests come or after, take her for what I call a decompression walk. OK. As in, relieves that stress. Yeah. If you follow these tips, I can assure you that her nervousness around people is going to dissipate. Yeah, the future's bright for this girl and for you. Isn't it, darling? Victoria's next challenge is Yogi and his lack of recall, because once this dog departs... Yogi! It's near impossible to get him back. Come here. First of all, I want him to understand that his name means he has to turn to you. Okay. Now, we need to give him an incentive, so therefore we use extremely high-value treats mm -hmm. that are only used for recall. Okay. 
Here's how we do it. Yogi. Yes. <laughs> Call him. As soon as he kind of turns his body towards you, say yes. Okay. Then throw a piece of food on the ground. All right. Okay, right. Here we go. Yogi. Yes. Good. Well done. Yogi. Yes. There you go. Good. Beautiful. The next step, agreeing a cue that's only used for recall. What word have you been using to get him to come to you? We should say, come here. Now, I think that word is now devalued nice. because he's learned to ignore it. So I'd like to charge up a new word that's really distinct. Yeah, uh, maybe an Italian word, andiamo, let's go. I think that's a great word. So I want you to say his name, Yogi, andiamo. Okay. And then I want you to move off in the direction that you want Yogi to come to. Okay. Sure enough. Yogi, andiamo. Yes. Good boy. The new cue is a revelation. Yogi, andiamo. Yes. Yeah, love it. Good love boy. It. And this is all making you a bit more exciting. Yeah. Andiamo. But yes. to really Good make these boy. techniques effective, Good boy. Victoria wants to try hidden recall the doggy version of hide and seek. I love the hidden recall because it really gets dogs searching. And this is quite a wonderful place to be. It's got a lot of smells, a lot of distractions. Mm -hmm. Carol, you're going to go hide. Mia, get in front of his face, tell yeah. him what a good boy he is. Hi, yeah. Hi. Having to seek when mum says andiamo, Yogi's recall, Okay, unleash him. Should only get better. Call him Carol now. Yogi! Andiamo! Yogi! Andiamo! Yes! Street good party, boy. street party, hey, loads of salmon! Good boy! Oh, that was so good. That was so beautiful. Even better, this training, Yogi's happy to do all day. Yogi! Andiamo! That's it. Run, run, run! Yes, good. Treat party. Good boy. Yogi. <laughs> That's what you want. That was amazing. This takes time and a lot of practice. You have to do it with him and also with Safi. Yes. And then you put them together. And then it's like poetry in motion. <laughs> well done. Yogi, Angelo. Gosh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> With Yogi and Safi having earned their gold stars, life in this family is definitely on the up. It's been an amazing day working with you, working with your amazing dogs. Yes, lots of issues, but hopefully now you're going to have a much calmer household. I think the long-term effects are going to be massively beneficial to the whole family, yeah. to our friends and to the dogs. I will be checking back with you to see your progress, but I would just say good luck. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Over the next few weeks, Carol and Mia commit to training 100%. Stay. Good boy, good girl. Very. With the front door no longer a flashpoint. Good girl, find the treat. And puzzle solving toys in constant use, we fill them with peanut butter and they've been really, really useful. What's in here? Safi. Both Yogi and Safi are usually on best behaviour. Good girl! Safi's definitely calmed down quite a bit. She's not as nervous as she used to be, which is brilliant. Even more exciting, Yogi's recall is getting better by the day. Yogi! Andiamo! Yogi! Good boy! Good boy. As is his grasp on Italian. Andiamo, let's go. Good boy. All of which makes Victoria one very happy trainer. Safi and Yogi have very different temperaments. However, with the training put into place, they're both making significant progress and I really, truly could not ask for anything more. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description.
see you online.